So class, this is question number 15 and it's quiz number two. Again, I'm going to go over it. Um, it's a <clears throat> question about crashing. But again, when you get a crashing problem, you get a table. First thing you got to do is, is um, a table with activities. First thing you got to do is create a critic, determine the critical path of the problem. That's where you're going to do the crashing. Critical path or critical paths can be more than one. And then uh, first you draw the diagram. So let's draw the diagram first. So, so A, I'm going to um, here, A, B, plus 9, and C. So, <clears throat> so, um, what I want to do is um, connect nodes A and B are start predecessor of C is A predecessor of D is A and B so I'm gonna put D right here predecessor of E is B, the predecessor of D is F, I'll connect these shortly, predecessor of, let me connect these, so the predecessor of D is F. Processor of E is D. Now the predecessor of, so we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now we next we have G. G has D and E predecessor. So I'm going to connect these here. H processor of H is E. And the processor of I is F and G. I'm going to connect these now. So I. H is D. So you can see, um, you can see. So determine the critical path. Um, so the critical path. You see that A C F I, A C F I path A. Excuse me. ACFI is path ACFI. So ACFI path is 15, 7 plus 8 is 15, 25, 30. I create a little table up here. I'm gonna put um, path up here. <clears throat> start iteration. One iteration. Two. So ACFI. You see ACFI is twenty six thirty. Oops, thirty. A D G I is twenty five. Yeah, um, D D G I is twenty seven. We also have D. 
E G I G E G I, which is nine plus nine is eighteen, and twenty-three, twenty-eight. Finally, you have B E H, which is twenty-eight. So these are your paths. So based based on this, your critical path is here. ATFI. So, so if you look back at crashing, first thing you have to do is see on AC, ACFI, the path ACFI, if any of these nodes are the ones, one of the ones you can crash. So if you crash A by one week at a cost of 6,000, C at 7,500, and I one week at 7,000. So the cheapest to crash on the critical path ACFI is crash A by one week at a cost of 6,000. If you go back here, you're going to crash A one week. So this becomes 29. This becomes 24. This is not affected. This is not affected because A is not in the path. And this is not affected. So now you see that you have, uh, you still have ACFI as your critical path. So you crash, for iteration one, you crash I, I mean, I'm sorry, you crash A. Next one is either um, C, F, or I needs to be crashed. So C is at 7,500, and I is 7,000. E is not in the critical path, so you can crash I one week at 7,500. So you crash I one week at 7,500, so this becomes 28, this becomes 23, this becomes 26, this becomes 27, and this becomes base 28. So to summarize, I'm going to do a little box at the bottom here. You're going to crash, crash, you're going to first crash A for one Notice that I haven't exceeded my my my, uh, my target, which is ten thousand dollars per week. If you remember in the narrative that a company could say could add ten thousand dollars per week in revenue. So if if it cost if cost the cost of crash a week or two weeks take is cost more than ten is greater than or equal to ten thousand, you're not going to crash anymore. Let's see what happened after iteration two. The ACFI, and you see here now, BGH is now has now become critical. So now you have to crash two activities simultaneously. First, you look and see if there's a common node between these two critical paths, ACFI and BGH. There is no common node, so you have to crash two at the same time. Based on, on what we're given, we cannot crash B or or H because it, it's not one of our options here. If you look, B and H is not one is, are not one of our options. So the only ones left to crash are B crash B one week at seventy five hundred per week. Crash C, actually, I'm sorry, crash E by one week at 2000, and crash C at one week at 7500. So actually, it's crash C at $2,000 a week, and crash E one week. Even though you can crash E up to two weeks, you're limited by, um, I'm sorry, you're limited by the, um, 
As you can see here, it says uh, crash speed by two weeks at a cost of 1500 So you can crash speed only one week because uh, you're limited by E, which can only crash one week. Also, if you try to crash C for two weeks, it'll it'll be too, it'll exceed the amount. See here, seventy five hundred and two thousand makes ninety five hundred. So you're still you still benefit from crashing because remember your revenue your net revenue would be a, a company can add ten thousand dollars per week in revenue if the project could be shortened. So now this is your only option. So you crash. So here, going up to the table, you crash E. I mean, I'm sorry, you crash. So you um putting up, filling the table up here. So you <clears throat> you crash C up here in the top. That becomes 27 by one week, right? So 28 becomes 27. <clears throat> There's no C here, here, here. Now, because when we're looking at crashing um, E. So this becomes a 26 here, there's an E here, and there's a E here. There's still two critical paths, but you're finished based on what the table information you got from the table, you cannot crash any further. So now um so they only gave you a list of options on what you can crash. So I'm gonna do the net here. So the net so your net savings is so based on this information here, you crashed one, two, three. And this last one is tricky here. You crashed only one week. You're crashing those two simultaneously. So it's so the net savings is from the fir first crash is ten thousand. I'm just gonna write it out. From the second crash is ten thousand. From the third crash, it's um, also ten thousand. Minus the cost, how much it costs to crash. So it's six thousand plus seven thousand plus two thousand plus five hundred. And uh, reduce the font here so I can fit my page. So here, so it's basically thirty thousand. So based on this here, this calculation, it's um thirteen thousand. I mean thirty thousand minus um twenty-two thousand five hundred will give you a total of seventy-five hundred dollars in savings. And the answer was the answer was B for this quiz. Greater than four thousand or less than or equal to eight thousand. See if I can get this squeeze in here. So as you can see that um, you gotta be careful when you crash items. When you, you can run into uh, trouble if um put it here so it can be much try not to cover the back option too much here, but which which you can run into trouble here is is that iteration two, you crashed it from twenty nine to twenty eight weeks. And say for example Look at iteration one. You see, you can. Let's just. This is not, not related to this problem here, but for an example, if you say, for example, at iteration one, you can crash A instead of for one week, you can crash it for three weeks. If you look at here, 28, you cannot crash it for three weeks because you're you're constrained by B H. You can only crash A for one week because it goes from 29 to 28. You're constrained by this here. So I hope this makes sense. So if this was 30, then your maximum crash would be 2, right? So you're constrained by um. So you got to look at your other paths. You got to write these paths and start at these lengths here to be sure that um. So make sure you write down all the path lengths to make sure if one if another path is constraining you or not to see if another path is going to constrain how much you can crash and also to see if there's another path that that becomes critical okay i hope this makes sense if not please email me your questions